Hello ladies and gentlemen, the History Channel guy here. So everyone knows Ancient Egypt, from the Great Sphinx to the Pyramids. Ancient Egypt has left a lot of mysteries for historians. But what is not a mystery? The Battle of Pelusium. Okay, so quick backstory before the I get to the actual battle. Basically, Egyptian culture centered around valuing life, even in its simplest forms. Though the Egyptian pharaohs did partake in hunts, most Egyptians had a diet which was exclusively around a vegetarian diet. When meat was eaten, though, major thanks was given to the animals which were being consumed. Of all the animals Egyptians valued, cats were number one on the list. Cats were a popular pet in ancient Egypt and were linked to the goddess Bastet, who was the goddess of pleasure and good health. If cats were disrespected, or even worse, killed, it was said it would bring disease or evil spirits to your household. Cats were so respected in ancient Egypt that the punishment for killing one was death. Yeah. Keep in mind, masters would face no repercussions for killing their slaves in ancient Egypt. So, cats were literally considered more valuable than actual human beings. I don't know if ancient e Egyptians valued slaves as human lives, but whatever. The point still stands. Cats were also mummified, but lots of animals were mummified, such as baboons, gazelles, birds, and even fish. That just makes me laugh, though. Imagine seeing a mummified baboon. That would just creep me out. I don't know how archaeologists do it. Anyway, cats are respected, so hopefully none of Egypt's enemies would exploit their literal undying love for them in battle. <laughs> Wait, I'm wrong? Someone did exactly that? Oh boy. The year is 525 BC, and I don't know enough about this year to make a joke. The Persian king, Cambyses, has declared war on the Egyptian pharaoh Samatik III. Samatik was a very inexperienced Egyptian pharaoh, and he was only in charge for six months. Seeing Egypt's new ruler as weak, the Persians felt that it was the right time to strike. Worse yet, for young Samantic, his father was the reason why this war started. It was said that Samantic's father, Amasis II, sent the Persian king Cambyses a fake bride, when he sent one of his predecessor's daughters instead of one of his own to be Cambyses' wife. However, according to Egyptian tradition, the daughters of pharaohs were not meant to be sent to foreign kings. To me, this is really dumb, because everyone knows in the ancient world and the game of monarchy, your daughters are literally political bargaining chips, which can be used to build alliances. Just look at Queen Victoria, Literally, all of her grandchildren went on to build alliances throughout Europe. So yes, lots of Egyptians died because of this war that Amesius refused to send his daughter for. Idiot. Okay. Worse yet, Samatik's own military advisor betrayed him and joined the Persians. Knowing Egyptian culture, King Cambyses ordered his soldiers to paint the goddess Bastet on their shields and he held cats as hostages on the front line. Yep, not their wives, not their children, cats. Awesome. Some accounts even said that the Persians even tied cats to their shields for maximum protection from the Egyptians. This just makes me laugh, because imagine in the movie 300 if the Persians attacked King Leonidas with cats taped to their fucking shields. If I was Leonidas, I would immediately yield to Xerxes and beg for my life. Okay, sorry, tangent. Where was I? Oh yeah, cats and shields. So, seeing their goddess on the front of these shields, the Egyptians decided to man up and be like, wow, these Persians are fucking idiots. How are we going to yield our land, our territory, and get killed because they captured whiskers? No, I'm just kidding. They did the absolute opposite and they got obliterated. Historians recount that the battle was completely one-sided, as many Egyptians straight up refused to fight. Now, it has been written that the Persians would have most likely have won the battle because of their superior military tactics, their better commanders, their numbers, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. That's not as fun to say because I think cats on shields takes the cake any day. After the battle, the Egyptians fled to Memphis, not Tennessee, which was also eventually taken by the Persians. Semantic was imprisoned and eventually executed by the Persians. This was the first time the Persians ruled Egypt, and it was all because of cats and refusing to send your daughter. That was still also very dumb. This is why I will always remain a dog person. Thank you for watching, and remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos. Peace out.